to show you all this because the freaking cloud pattern is insane. Look at that. No, it feels disgusting outside, but that's pretty as hell. Hello. Ooh. Hi. Uh, it's time to get organized. I have been very unorganized for a while. I need to water my plants. I need to organize my room, clean up all of my old clothes, probably do laundry again, even though I feel like I do it every week, but I feel like it's also necessary. So do my laundry every week, get some dust stuff done, I used to admit things. There's a lot going on, but let's hop right into it. First, I'm cleaning my bathroom. You will not see that because nobody has to see that. You don't need to see that. It's kind of gross. Um, see you in a few. Okay, I'm back. So I cleaned my bathroom and that's done and it feels so good. But now I'm basically just gonna clean the rest of my room. It just feels nice to like actually like wash your face, brush your teeth, do all that in a clean bathroom as opposed to like a moderately decent bathroom. It's very, very nice. It smells good. Like the ambiance is just a lot better. And I'm happy because it's like, I'm usually not very productive on rainy days, but I guess today because I was out all weekend, I didn't really have the time to do that that weekend because it was DC Pride weekend. So like I was just out all weekend. I didn't really have the time to organize my life, which is honestly really important to do just because it helps like you feel like you have your mind on right. I'm doing that now and it's just nice to like clean yourself in a clean environment. It just doubles the excellent experience. I'm going to clean my room now. The idea is that I need to sweep my floor. Again, I need to water my plants. Probably throw more stuff into the trash because there's a decent amount of just like stray things. I just have just a lot of stray things in my room. I also need to dust stuff off if I actually thought the time and then able to because I just dusted one of my dressers and it looks so much better, I swear. All my life, it looks so much better than it did before. And yeah, after that, I have to um, start editing a podcast and also work on a YouTube video for you guys. It's gonna be the um, weekly vlog one. First couple weeks of summer, it also includes Pride. So if you haven't yet, check it out because it'll definitely be out before this one. But yeah, I need to edit those things. But I need to take care of all of the clutter. Just all the clutter needs to go away. So I'll see you guys later. I've needed to arrange those sweaters for a while now, especially since I have some I still need to put up there. You know that I want to be good for you 
You know that I wanna be good for you, I do. But sometimes someone was bad for me. Sometimes someone was bad, oh, can't you see? I'm just being weak. Mm-hmm. I think you know that I care for you. I think you know that I care for you, I do. But sometimes I can't be there for me. Sometimes I can't be there, baby, can't you see? That I'm just being me. Sometimes we just colliding And we keep on fighting But we'll be okay Cause we got unconditional love Sometimes we just crying But we'll keep on trying I know we'll be okay Cause we got unconditional love Hello, welcome back. As you can see, I'm still sitting at my desk. Yes, still sitting at my desk. I feel like last time you guys saw me, I literally was also sitting at my desk and I'm so sorry, but I have a remote internship and I still do remote work obviously for like YouTube. So it's like, I spend a lot of time here. Some days it's just, you're getting out of bed. The first thing you're doing is just working in your room. So it's one of those days, I swear. I'll probably like go back to like trying to go outside when I'm doing remote work again. But I think also because now I have like a job in person, like I don't feel as inclined to because it's like, I'm already around a lot of people like most of the time. Um, but I do want to start doing that again, just because I like, I want to find new bookstores to hang out at new cafes because I'm always down to try a new cafe and see like what stuff they have there. Um, that's something I used to do a lot in New York and it's something I want to maintain in DC because I know there's some food places that I haven't tried as much because you know like when you're as a kid you go out with your family and eat at like the same places regularly like over and over again. That's essentially like what my situation was so I haven't started trying new food places in my city until like recently like until like my sophomore year obviously at MLU when I started doing that more often. So that's something I'm going to try to do and that will in part be due to me wanting to find new places to focus of my remote work. So yeah, it's YouTube and my internship, which if I haven't explained it already, I'm going to be working for an international exhibit slash podcast company. And I'm mainly working as a podcaster. So I do interviews, I anchor and I edit podcast episodes. That's my internship, but I do it all from my laptop. And I just had to take a break because I was editing my YouTube videos all this morning and my eyes were burning by the end of it. So now we're back. We're going to do this. I'm not going to do it for too long because I have work in the morning, my physical job. I'm going to do it enough until probably for the next like couple of hours. And I'm just going to relax the last hour um, before I have to go back to work. So yeah, that is what's happening right now. I just thought I'd update you because I literally just spent the whole morning working like a little hermit with my bonnet on and everything. And it, it's a lot, but on the bright side, I got a video up, which if you haven't checked out yet, I will. I mean, like it's the ones probably coming before this or like a couple ones before this. It's like the start of the summer vlog. Fantastic, really enjoyed editing it. I had a good old jolly old time. Just sat down for like seven hours straight and did it. So go ahead and watch it. Go ahead. I wish I had something more interesting to show you, but I literally am just sitting here at my desk working every day. So <laughs> I'll see you later. Okay, the battery on this is very, very low, but I just wanna explain. I got back from my day job basically, and now I'm back here to work on my internship. So that's usually how my day goes. My internship kind of has lulls between like high days and low days, so, like I guess like high periods and low periods. So I'm in the high period right now. So that means I really have to devote time after work in order to do the work. Otherwise I won't get to do the work. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. Um, I bought some snacks that will be my motivator. I love working with snacks, I love watching TV with snacks. I just love snacks, especially sweets. So I bought some snacks on my way home. I'm trying to use things as motivators. For example, I'm watching First Kill, which you guys saw last night. The thing is, it's kind of campy. I feel like a lot of shows on Netflix are kind of campy. The way it's filmed and stuff, it's like giving more expensive than Disney Channel, but it is giving like that one vampire show on Disney that was like iconic and people still remember to this day. It's giving that in sides of like acting and so on and so on. There is some good acting on the show. Like the moms are kind of killing it a little bit, but it's like the scripts are written so and not everyone's the best actor. Look, I'm gonna just say it. But otherwise, um, it's a pretty good show and I find it pretty entertaining, which is rare for me. Like whenever I watch a campy show, it's like, it's usually hit or miss, but it's good. It's good right now. So anyways, I'm gonna start my work. My battery is dying for some reason. My charger is acting wacky, but yeah, I just wanna tell you guys I'm gonna get to work on this thing. I'm just dancing to YouTube music and trying to find my motivation. So I'll probably see y'all at my desk soon enough. Hey guys, um, it's been a while, it's been a few days, and honestly, it's probably because I've been really stressed. Like, today is June 19th, Juneteenth. <laughs> Happy day to us, but I, um, huh, just 
frick, I don't even remember the last time I vlogged and yeah, it's because I've been really stressed. I think, and I'm probably gonna go more into detail about this later, it's just hard finding work-life balance in the summer, I guess, because in the school you have structure, you know exactly when you're working, you know exactly when you're getting off and it's like an in-person thing. But for me, it's like, I don't know, like my schedule changes every week for my in-person job, which I don't mind because it's like, I, I get money either way, but it changes every week. So it's just to be like, oh yeah, this day I'll do this and this day I'll do that, which I guess is fine, but I don't know. I just need to like adjust to that. And then I also have my remote internship, which is more difficult because it's hard to arrange like scheduling that when my interviews and like when editing and everything like that is just harder to do, especially when I have to edit for YouTube too. I need to figure out a time to do it when it's not like right after my in-person shift and I feel mad exhausted. And I just don't have the proper energy to do put in the work for that. Or maybe that is the good time so I can have an entire day to relax but yeah i've just been struggling a bit with time management with like my personal things i want to do like i haven't really done much personal things this last week because i've been so busy and i think that's part of why i felt like so stressed out and anxious like yesterday i woke up feeling hyper anxious like in the morning and i was like borderline on the verge of tears which is like a thing that happens for me sometimes it might happen for a couple of other people i know a couple of other influencers i know that like that happens too and i don't know sometimes you just have your days but i know for me it's like usually a buildup of me neglecting myself and my own personal needs and I guess that's something I inadvertently did this week, even though I was trying to not balance. Honestly, I was just trying to get a lot done and I forgot that I also need time to just like breathe. Um, so part of that is that I need to go outside. One thing I always forget to do is like actively take time to go outside. Like I'll do work, but I'll forget that I need to actually be out in <laughs> nature and see the world and just walk without being in a rush anywhere, walk without really having a destination. I might walk to the library and walk back because I have to return a book, but yeah, I've just forgotten how to do that. I don't know why, but it's been kind of rough, I guess, in terms of that. I might not even walk to the library, I might just walk around and enjoy the scenery and just take you guys with me because that's something I need to do. And then come back, wear a face mask, watch TV, try to set up a notion, which I don't know, I might try that when I get home. But I know I need to change something. And my mom was saying that I should stop trying to be so productive every minute of my life, even when I'm trying to rest. And she's probably right not gonna lie Ugh, i was trying not to do this like i'm aware of these toxic cycles that are caused by capitalism that ingrain human culture american culture but i was trying to avoid it but i guess i wasn't i don't know there's just so much going on in the world and in our lives and even personal lives there's a lot going on like my sister's gonna graduate in a couple of days on tuesday so that's dope but i really need to take the time to just focus on myself and relax and do things I'm not used to. Like, I should probably read. I'm thinking of actually setting up a, a read with me video soon because I'm gonna start a new big book and I still have not started it yet. So I think I'm gonna do a read with me. Yeah, just do that as content. But it's also just a way for me to properly relax. Again, this is me making my relaxation time productive. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But anyways, let's go on that walk because now I'm rambling. <laughs> Wednesday, 
uh, June 22nd. My sister graduated yesterday, which big dubs, very proud of her. And I don't know, today I'm just gonna take a day for myself because I'm going to be honest. Uh, I have not been feeling the greatest. I think I told you in a clip before this, like before I went on a walk into the bookstore that I was feeling a little bit stressed and overwhelmed or that I wasn't really being as easy on myself as I should be. And that was very much true, which I realized yesterday when I just felt so overwhelmed at a certain point that, well, overwhelmed for emotions of happiness for my sister's graduation, but also overwhelmed in the sense that was not feeling good. Like I started tearing up a bit and I just felt like claustrophobic in the sense where I felt like, I'm not sure if anyone else gets this feeling, but I guess I have a control thing where I feel like if I don't have a certain amount of a time where I can just spend it by myself and actively do things that I want to do outside of work or even like YouTube um, or my internship, then I just feel like I'm going crazy or like I just don't have control over what I can do. So I guess like that's how I felt, but I kept on pushing it back because there was always, always something to do. So it ended up just boiling up to a point where I just was not feeling the best yesterday. Not to say where it's like I had like a complete breakdown, but I definitely was not feeling good and it showed and I realized that I really need to take a day where I just, I did something despite like it not being the perfect day to do something, which is another thing. I think I kept on waiting for like a perfect day to go outside or a perfect day to go do something. Thing. I don't know what I was waiting for to be honest. I was like, oh, it has to be sunny, it has to be this perfect weather, which also didn't help because I'm not sure if I told you, but like where I am, the weather is so freaking humid. Look, because we live in a swamp. We live in a nation's capital, it's a swamp. It gets ridiculous, but like the last couple of days, it's been nice and breezy, but I've been working and busy, so I haven't really been able to enjoy the weather other than that walk to the bookstore, which is very therapeutic, but it was only like a couple of hours after a shift, so I was exhausted and I got home and I just splayed out on my bed. And when I say time for myself, I mean more than just, well, obviously actively taking rest. Like I was in my bed all of this morning, like it's noon now, and I was in bed all of this morning. More than just being in my bed and more than just like watching TV for my room because that's something I can do whenever but like that like really brings me like true joy which not saying like laying in my bed or watching TV doesn't do that but it's something I do so often that it doesn't make me feel like I actually am doing something to bring me joy like it's not something outside of my daily routine because I can watch TV and lay on my bed when I come home from work but it doesn't necessarily make me feel like I can do something outside of the routine that I'm falling into for the summer and like yesterday was the summer solstice which is amazing so I feel like if I don't make that shift in order to like actively take time for myself now. I'm not gonna do it for the rest of the summer. I'm gonna go back for my junior year and just feel hella exhausted and not healed at all for the next chapter of my life. I'm going into the second half of my college experience. It's gonna be cool, but if I can't always readjust the way I think and rethink the way I consider my work and consider my personal life and like how I balance that because it'll constantly change every year, then I won't be able to grow as a person, I guess. And this is all part of growth, just remembering like that you need to readjust every period of your life because you don't know. And like, this is a very tumultuous period, so I just need to keep on doing that. Like, I guess I didn't anticipate the amount of stress I would get from doing two jobs this summer. It's just been a lot. And like, I went to sleep early last night because I was so tired. Like I've been tired, I'm emotionally and physically, which makes for a bad combo. It makes you very, very drowsy, which means I got so much needed rest this morning. Like I said, I laid in my bed all of this morning. Like I only got up near noon and um, I did my laundry, which was much needed. I just made breakfast and I'm gonna head out of the house. And I know it's gonna rain today. Speaking of like waiting for the perfect day, it's literally gonna rain today. And I was like, Ugh, I can't go out now. I was thinking, oh my gosh, like I can't even go outside because it's gonna be raining and I'm not gonna enjoy it and et cetera, et cetera. But let's be honest, I can, I really can. And the thing is, I, I think this is also a pandemic response, but one of the ways I really enjoy like taking time for myself that like is outside routine is going on walks or like going certain places like in the city that are like nature related. Because obviously like I live in cities both here and in both when I go to college in New York. So like being surrounded by nature, I always like it a lot more now, especially since the pandemic, we did so many like periods of isolation because of Girl, rain and like black hair. Rain and me in general just don't mix that well. But then I remembered that first of all, when was the last time I actually went out in the rain and just like walked calmly, not in a rush, just like walked and enjoyed it. It's been a while. There are ways that I can enjoy being outside without <laughs> worrying about the rain. And that is by, hello, going to a botanical garden. The one in DC is indoors. So it's like really nice and cute and fun. So I think I'm gonna go there and enjoy it for a bit. And I'm gonna go to a bookstore I've been meaning to visit in DC that I haven't gone 
gone there yet so I'm gonna try going today and then I saw an event I kind of want to go to tomorrow so just like planning these little things for myself that are outside my routine that I think I'll actually enjoy I just wanted to be honest because I feel like I do do sit down videos but I haven't really done like a sit down like honest talk with you guys since probably February Valentine's Day when I had a rough period after I had COVID and there was like a lot going on. This summer there also has been a lot going on and I haven't been journaling as much. I think one of the things that caused my emotions to build up is that I wasn't journaling as much and that I also wasn't writing. Um, I've been writing a collection of poetry for the summer, which I'll probably do a vlog on. But yeah, I don't know what I'll end up doing with that. It's just something I'm doing as like a fun side project, something that's like a good outlet for my emotions and also just a piece of craft that I'm proud of and I might submit somewhere in the future. So I don't know, I don't know. But anyways, I am going to eat my breakfast and then I'm going to dip out. It's still nice sunny weather so I'm hoping to enjoy a bit of the sun before I'm attacked by rain droplets. But even then, like it's been a while since I really enjoyed a rainy day. We're gonna flip this around. We're gonna flip the script. I'm going to try and sit and enjoy a rainy day and yeah I'm just gonna take this time to just take it slow and go to places I think I'll enjoy. I guess without further ado, let's hop right into it. Full stop believe I live in your thoughts I think about you all the time Morning, evening, and midnight Such a wonderful day. It's starting right now Fuck off Give up everything that I own Yeah, I'd give it all up now Just to be with you somehow Unexpected love was found You're the rose in a garden And it shows if I'm honest You're the leaves in mid-August And I've come out here to say Dabble a little bit more, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. All right, so. Conscious. Uh, when I kiss you, I get a spa. Your body a work of art. Horny thoughts after dark. Used to stay up late to just talk. We was moving fast, trying not to get caught. Them your skin so soft. Let me open up your heart, cause life too short till death do its part. Uh, knew it from okay.
Hey guys, I think I'm going to end the vlog here. This vlog was interesting. It kind of went in an unexpected direction, but I guess it's bound to happen with vlogs because you don't want to know what emotional state or like what's going to go on in your life as you're filming. So this, I guess, is a PSA. Make sure to always, I guess, keep track of how you're feeling. I mean, as best as you can because, I mean, it took me a couple of weeks before I figured out that I was feeling some kind of way about the way I was like functioning with my work life and just my life in general. Like I wasn't feeling my best and I was working on transition and it wasn't going as smoothly and I just kept on pushing back the emotions until it built up to the point where I had to like take some sort of action on it, do whatever I felt would make me happy in the moment, but also something that's different outside my routine. So yeah, just always make sure to monitor how you're feeling because hey, you only get one life and you gotta take care of your body and your mind because otherwise, what's the point, right? Like uh, make sure to do things that you love, make sure to take a moment to assess like what you're grateful for because I think that's also something I lost track of. Um, as I was moving through my work week, I was just working, working, working and not thinking of like what I was working for, like what I was doing certain things for. And I think working and moving without direction just makes you feel listless and frustrated and it helps nobody. So yeah, not to say that I'm cured now. I think any process where you're adjusting to anything takes time. So I guess, yeah, this is just the first steps of me taking the time or to still be productive in a way, but also like it's my summer break. I should be relaxing in some way or form. I should be doing things that I wouldn't necessarily be able to do while I was in school trying to have as much fun as possible and just push myself out of my comfort zone every now and then. That's all I have for you guys for today, but I hope you managed to take something from this video or just enjoyed watching it. <laughs> Either way, it's fun with me. Thanks so, so much for watching. As per usual, like, comment, and subscribe, follow me on all of my medias. They're always linked down below and I will see you all in the next one. <laughs> bye bye Hey, uh, so that actually was not all I had for today. Um, first of all, I hope you enjoyed the video. Really hope you enjoyed that. It was kind of hard to push through, but I'm glad I got it out for you guys. Um, second of all, obviously a lot has happened since the video ended. Roe v. Wade got overturned by the court and there's just been a lot of steady streams of just stripping of rights happening in this country. I know it's just really hard just trying to figure out like what to do or like where the resources are, especially since uh, the leaders that we've elected don't really seem to have a concrete plan in order to fight against these things other than donating and voting, which obviously like we can't always just wait for the vote. so. I'm gonna link some resources down below if case you're looking for some way that you can contribute to the fight and making things better for people because it's just we can't continue on like this. The 4th of July was yesterday and obviously like a big event happened then. It kind of, I feel like almost epitomizes this country which is really unfortunate but I want to do what I can in order to make this country better because obviously I was born and raised here and I really love this place. It's where my parents came in order to give me and my siblings a better life and I want to make sure that I do what I can with I guess the resources that we have so I will link them down below um feel free to comment on your thoughts and feelings at the moment because I know everything that's happened the last couple of weeks like systemically has been really stressful for a lot of us and that can also play a role in your mental health and your productivity and like the way that you're just feeling in general so feel free to comment the way that you're feeling down below and yeah again I'll link the resources but I'm not gonna bother editing this part but thanks again for watching and I will see you all in the next one Bye bye and with love always. Thank you so much for watching.